Hello everyone, this is Prahash Palanki and today I will be covering the topic vertex cover problem and we are gonna see how do we know that it's NP complete. So to start with what a vertex cover problem is. So a vertex cover of an undirected graph is a subset of its vertices such that for every edge u, v of the graph either u or v is in vertex cover or both u and v belongs to that particular vertex cover. Although the name is vertex cover, the set covers all the edges of the given graph. So the main objective of this problem is if we are given an undirected graph, the vertex cover problem is to find the minimum size vertex cover. Uh, this problem is also known as the node cover problem. So the decision problem is represented here as vertex cover equals g comma k where the graph g has a vertex cover of size k. So you can see in this diagram in the left side uh, the colored vertices or nodes the blue color so th those are the edges from which all the edges covers. So if you are if you are not taking as in the right side diagram, if you are not taking the bottom or right right part node, the bottom edge is not covered. So we have to take all the vertices which covers all the edges. So it uh, it gives us the minimum size vertex cover. So how do we so prove that it's NP complete? So for proving, let's see how. Uh, let's see what the complement of a given undirected graph is. The complement of a given graph is uh, the fully fully completed graph, uh, in which fully graph fully completed graph means all the edges are connected with each other, minus the given undirected graph. I mean, if you can see the undirected graph as given in this left side the edges which are not present in that graph is a comp is is on the right side which is the complement of the graph i mean the edge from 4 to 5 is not there in the given graph so in the complement it would be there therefore like that the complement of the given graph is generated we have we will prove that this vertex cover problem is NP complete by by the following four step proof. So the first step is proving the vertex cover problem is in NP. The second step would be uh, I would be selecting the click problem, which is already known to be an NP complete. And the third step is we will be defining a polynomial time reduction from click problem to vertex cover problem. The fourth step is we will prove that given an instance of a click problem, it has a solution if and only if the vertex cover problem has a solution. So we will be taking a known NP complete problem, which is uh, which I am taking in this case as a click problem, and we will be reducing it by transformation to uh, a vertex cover problem we, uh, for which we have to prove that is NP complete. So the output of a click problem would be the input of the vertex cover problem by using reduction technique. So here is the first step in which we have to prove that the vertex cover problem is in NP. So given a certificate uh, which is basically a solution for vertex cover we can verify it in polynomial time uh, if the given vertex covers all the edges. So the here the complement, I mean the E bar has exactly those edges that are not in the given graph in the polynomial time. So by this we can say that the vertex cover is in NP. Second step here we are selecting a click problem which is already known to be NP complete. 
So a clique problem is nothing but an undirected graph g of v comma e which is a subset v dash is a subset of all the vertices which is connected by an edge in e I mean the complete is the subgraph which covers all the edges the vertices which are connected with each other so the it is a problem of finding a click of maximum size in G so this can be converted a uh, decision problem which is represented in the bottom uh, the click is equal to G comma K where the graph G is containing a click of size K so the next step is we have to define a polynomial time reduction from click to vertex cover so for defining we will first uh, initially take a complement of G of an undirected graph and uh, the complement is uh, uh, represented as G bar of V comma E bar where E bar is as I said is the, all the edges which are uh, not which are not covered in the undirected graph given undirected graph so as a given an instance g of v comma e of the click problem we will compute the complement of the given undirected graph by doing the reduction problem so the output of this uh, reduction algorithm is g bar of mod v minus k of the vertex curve problem so we have to understand this that if uh, g has a click of v dash of size k then the complement g bar has a vertex cover of size mod v minus k so in the store we will prove that the given an instance of click problem it has a solution if and only if the vertex cover problem has a solution if and only if means it is valid for both the cases I mean if it's a click problem of size k we have to prove that uh, it is a uh, the vertex problem has a size of mod v minus k and if we are given a graph if a complement graph has a vertex of size mod v minus k then it has a click of size k so it's vice versa so what we'll be seeing here is if uh, initially we'll be uh, taking the complement of G which will be having a vertex square of size mod V minus K so U comma V belongs to all the edges that implies that U comma V does not belong to the E bar which is not all the edges so if U comma V belongs to E bar at least U or V does not belong to that all the vertices that is v dash because every pair in v dash is connected by an edge in e so at least one of u or v is in v minus v dash so the edge u comma v is covered by v minus v dash size that is mod v minus v dash so hence if the graph has a click of size k then g will have a vertex cover of size v minus v dash so in any edge there will be one vertex or node that belongs to v minus v dash and it will cover everything so now we'll prove it the other way around if g bar has a vertex cover of size mod v minus k then graph g will have a click of size k we will prove this by saying that if g bar has a vertex cover of uh, vertex cover v dash that is subset of v where mod v dash equal to mod v minus k which is the size of it for all u comma v will belongs to v if u comma v belongs to e bar so u belongs to v dash or v belongs to v dash or both of them belongs to v dash so <clears throat> For all u comma v belongs to v if u does not belong to v dash and v does not belong to v dash then u comma v belongs to e so for by this we can say that v minus v dash is click so the which uh, which has a size mod v minus v dash equal to k 
which in turn gives us that mod v dash equal to mod v minus k. So hence we have proved that the set mod v minus v dash forms a vertex cover for the given complemented graph. It has size mod v minus k. So hence uh, we have proved that the vertex cover problem is NP complete. Thank you. Uh, I hope you understand what this algorithm is and uh, we have proved that it's NP complete by selecting a click problem which is already known NP complete problem. Thank you.